Hey guys, I'm back with another vlog on Indian football. This time, a continuation of the last vlog where I talked about, talked and talked and talked actually about India not being able to participate in the Asian Games and how that was bad for us as we are trying to grow a football culture and as we are trying to develop the younger players which we have in our youth team and which are up and coming and are going to be the future of Indian football. The problems we are going to have in developing these players if we don't participate in bigger tournaments with them. And Asian Games is a tournament which comes after every four years. So there wasn't much reaction to the vlog. There wasn't much reaction, not just through my vlog, but also through gaining news from any other source, any other medium. Once you found out about it, you should have started a conversation, maybe talk about it on social media, put a Facebook post, or something, 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 anything. But nothing of the sort happened. There was absolutely no conversation or outrage, if you will, of uh, the Indian national team not being able to participate in the Asian Games due to the decision of IOA and AIFF. And I was feeling a little bad that if we are not caring even a little about Indian football, if we are not even starting a conversation about this stuff, then what are we just going to talk about why in India is not in the World Cup every four years? So that was worrying me a little. And then, just a few days ago, Times of India posted an article about uh, our coach Stephen Constantine feeling the outrage which I felt. He does feel the sadness, the anger of our team, the Indian national team, not being able to participate in the Asian Games. Anyways, I felt vindicated by his statement about uh, the poor decision by the IOA and how it determines the work that's been going on to develop Indian football and uh, yeah he does feel the anger he does feel the pain he does feel the emotions which we as Indians should feel he's not even technically well technically he's not even an Indian citizen but he's more of an Indian uh, Indian football lover Indian football fan the uh, Indian football coach which None of us deserve actually. Maybe the Indian players deserve it. They are lucky to have him. But as fans, we don't deserve him. He's doing everything that we should be doing. Talking about the what's going wrong in Indian football, which we should be doing. We have a platform of social media. And he's doing it instead of us. And whichever platform he gets. This time, the article on Times of India. Still, there's nothing which is happening, no movement which is happening towards supporting in football in a bigger way. Still, this is just process. I'll st I'm starting to think of it as a process, a long-term process, and I'm keep on. I'm gonna keep on talking about in football and domestic leagues and stuff whenever I can, whatever news I get, whatever I feel which is important to talk about. I'm going to keep on doing that and maybe in a year's time, two years, three years, whenever more and more people start to gather, talk about it on social media and maybe, maybe with enough push, uh, there'll be a movement towards supporting Indian football, Indian football players and all of that in a bigger way. So yeah, that's that. And now on to the other news which came out this week from Indian football or social media news, if you will. A player called Godwin Franco, who has won the title, I said the title with Chennai NFC in 2016, and who's playing for uh, Club Guadalupe uh, Deportivo right now. And he's played for various domestic clubs. He's even played for the Indian youth team as well as a couple of. He also has a couple of caps for the Indian national team. This guy sent out an email to the FIFPRO, the Football Players Association of India. Uh, recently and he stated that the condition of the league needs to improve and why it's not improving is because certain agents and certain players are being pushed into the teams. Teams are buying these players on account of backroom dealing through agents and all this stuff and which is unethical. First of all, it is unethical and it is corrupt in a way and it should be stopped and players who are getting in are resulting in better players not getting chances to play for these clubs. All of this was put in an email by Gordon Franco and he sent it to the fifth pro and reply he gets from fifth pro is so unprofessional and so exposing themselves of corruption if you will. 
that they just replied to him that if you feel that certain agents are getting players into the football clubs you should uh, just get one of these agents and get into a football club now this is not something you send out in an email this is highly unprofessional behavior to send out on a pl- public platform and it's like fifth pro doesn't even care that uh, if they are sending this email to a player and it might get public or something like that and they are just so full of themselves that they don't care about the corruption that's happening in under their watch or maybe even they are part of it and if india which is already a poor football nation in terms of football specifically uh, if they want to get up grow and be better something needs to change like uh, football clubs and football leagues are emphasizing on bringing in the entertainment value bringing in better dramatics and all of that to gain viewership that's not needed basically what's needed is better quality players who are sitting on their sofas before because some unprofessional players are getting in through agents and if uh, these better quality players are bought by the clubs the level of football rises and once the level of football rises you know we football fans like to watch good football so of course we are going to be there but yeah if such an email and such a series of emails is being exchanged by one of their own players with the fifth pro and association who should be protecting good players and develop pushing forward better players then of course football in india is corrupt of course india is not going to develop as a footballing nation so it's very disheartening to see what's going on in indian football in terms of organize at the organization level right now and usually if this would have happened with the bcci or cricket or any such stuff it would have been a big controversy there would be 9 pm debates about it there is someone would have to lose his job and all this stuff but in football no one really cares that much and so it's just going on and someone needs to raise a voice i have a very small voice and i'm going to keep on raising it so let's see what happens in the future i hope i hope good people like godwin franco and stephen constantine get the help the necessary help they need to uh, bring forward and there are good guys as well in indian football but uh, the organization level yeah it just needs to improve right now meanwhile for the international teams and talking about gaining experience and all that we are playing a lot of friendly tournaments we are playing tournaments in spain we are playing tournaments in jordan and a lot of under 16 under 17 under 20 tournaments for men as well as women boys girls teams uh, there is the cordif tournament which the indian women are playing as well as uh, indian under 20 men indian under 16s under 17s are playing fighting asian teams uh, tournaments friendly tournaments outside of india so it's really exciting to see india going out there they are losing a couple of their games indian under 20s lost uh, 2-0 i think to malaysia and they we are gaining experience so that's the most important thing gaining experience gaining getting a know and understanding of how it's played outside of india especially the cordif cup in spain and all that even the bangalore fc has gone to spain for the pre season training for their tie in the asia cup so it's really exciting point in football and it should be supported on a bigger level by the organizations especially if we are to gain experience to win the bigger tournaments gain experience of playing in the bigger tournaments more importantly so that's all about this vlog from in football right now i'm going to start doing smaller vlogs more crisp with constrained information which many of the, many of my friends many of viewers who were watching this vlog have been expecting of me have been telling me to do it was a process for me it was like first i need to start doing vlogs i need to get down to it because i love football i love talking about football but i can't face the camera so it was first about facing the camera being fluent enough being confident enough in front of camera then about talking content talking about the football content talking about football the way i want to and which took a lot of time because i like to talk and talk and talk about football i can stop if anyone wants to listen or not i like to talk about football so there was a problem then now it's about getting more crisp videos out more constrained videos to the point videos and yeah i'm going to try to do that slowly but steadily bring my videos down to a smaller size and talk 
to the point news if you will about football so that's it from today's vlog do stick around do subscribe to my channel like share and yeah you know comment on these videos whatever you feel about them yeah next video is gonna come out soon see you around